Hello everyone, and welcome to the 12 year anniversary event for Forge of Empires. Here we have the event page with the mini game board and some other pages we can access. First, let's look at the cheat sheet because it's not the easiest mini game to figure out. There are different colored pieces that reward a variety of prizes listed on the left hand side. Then you can merge pieces to receive full key sets where larger collections of pieces give more keys. For example, looking at my current board, I can combine a few pieces to get my full key. And then combine that full key to create a larger piece, which I can then trade in for three keys. With enough different colored keys, I can choose my prize chest. Among other things, the prize chest can reward the daily special, shown here in the top right. If you don't like the daily special, you can switch it out once per day. By submitting pieces, you also earn points for grand prizes, shown on this page. Now we get to see all of the new buildings of the event in three separate tiers. Here's the Golden Orrery, a previous event building with some slightly lacking production for its 4x5 size. Luckily, the new trend of giving upgrades to old event buildings is continuing, so it can now provide a whole lot more. Speaking of golden upgrades, the Tower of Conjunction gets one as well, with four different choices. My personal favorite is probably the Phantom Tower. Stage of Ages gets an upgrade kit as well, which is unfortunate because I sold all of mine in the Antiques Dealer, but it now gives more attack boosts, as well as forge points, goods, and units. The Flower Arboretum is new. A 1x2 building with lots of defensive army boosts, forge points, and goods. And the ethereal airship is also new, with attacking army boosts, forge points, goods, units, and only a 2x2 footprint with no requirements for a road. And of course, the new event building, the Urban Metro Plaza. It has 10 base levels, with the 10th level giving a good amount of attack boosts for both attacking and defending armies along with coins, medals, forge points, goods, and fragments for special buildings and upgrades. There's the silver upgrade that increases all of these rewards, and then the golden upgrade that increases them even further still. The league table is similar to past events where you compete against everyone else in your world for top spots and prizes. The special building here is called Zephy's Fusion Drinks, and it gives huge rewards for a 2x3 building that doesn't need a road. Lately, the minigames have been getting paired with the Rival Quests that release every so often on Tuesdays. From the Rival Quests and the Event Quests, you can earn special powers to play in the minigame. This first one is called the Gem Mine, which gives you free gems. The second one is a gem pickaxe, allows you to split a larger piece into two smaller pieces. And the prismatic essence converts all pieces of a certain color to a colorless piece, which can then combine with any colored piece on the board. It will be interesting to see how these powers can be used efficiently to get as many points and prizes as possible. If you get sick of your board and want a new one, you get one daily reset. Sometimes this is a better idea than spending lots of energy, the event currency, on a bunch of pieces just to unlock the last few spots. Let me know in a comment below if you're excited for this event or are focusing on getting a particular building. In the meantime, that's the end of this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to see more, please like and subscribe, and as always, keep on jamming.